Hello everybody. So today we're going to be doing Bitter Man by Pearl Jam. Uh, the chords are D and E and then F and G in the verse. Uh, but we're playing them a little differently to the normal way we play D, E, F and G. Um, so the D, we play with our index finger on the 2nd fret on the top E string. Our middle finger on the 2nd fret on the G string. And our ring finger on the 3rd fret on the B string. So it's just those three strings, and we're playing with these three fingers picking. So we've got our thumb on the top E string, we've got our index finger on the G string, and we've got our middle finger on the B string. So we're just playing those three strings. And um, the way that we do it is we hit the top string with our thumb first, and then we play the G and the B strings together. So that's the first bit. Then what happens is we lift our ring finger off and using these two fingers we pick first the B string and then the G string. Okay, so that's thumb on the top string, G and B strings together, then lift off your ring finger and picking B string and G string. So we follow that pattern for two rounds of D. So we play Then what we do is play E twice. Um, to do the E, all we do is take this exact same pattern and move it up two frets. So our index finger is going to be on the fourth fret on the top E string. Our middle finger is going to be on the fourth fret on the G string. And our ring finger is going to be on the fifth fret on the B string. Otherwise the picking pattern is exactly the same, so thumb on the top E string, then both G and B strings together, then lifting the ring finger and picking B string and G string. Okay, so that will sound like this. Okay, so that's two of those, and in order to play a verse, we go from two Ds. is we play F, F, G, G twice. Okay, so to play an F, all we're doing is we're sliding our E shape here up one fret. So your index finger is going to be on the fifth fret on the top E string, middle finger is going to be on the fifth fret on the G string, and your ring finger is going to be on the sixth fret on the B string. This time we just play them all together twice, like this. Nice and easy. Okay, and we do the same thing with the G, which is just two frets up. So index finger 7th fret E string, middle finger 7th fret G string, and ring finger 8th fret B string. And we're playing, once again, thumb and two fingers, E string, G string, B string, and all together, twice. Cool, and we just repeat that, so it's E. So I'm going to run through that whole verse before we move on to doing the chorus. Um, the verse goes D, twice, E, twice, and again, D, twice, E, twice, and then we go two Fs, two Gs, and again, two Fs, two Gs, Okay, so I'll play that through one more time. Two, three, four.
Cool, after that we just wait for four beats, one, two, three, four, and then we play the chorus. Okay, so after playing the verse, we go straight into the chorus. Uh, the chorus is just D, A, and G four times, then it's a G once, and we end on a D. Okay, the strumming pattern is good old fashioned down, down, up, up, down. It's a whole strum, down, down, up, up, down, up, and the A and the G go half strum each. So down, down on the A, up, up, down, up on the G. Okay, so it should sound like this. D, whole strum, then down, down, G, Play that through four times just for practice sake. So one, two, three, as you do G one more time, a whole strum, then you play a D, single strum, and that's the end. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run through the whole thing, from the verse through to the chorus. So remember our verse is two Ds, two Es twice, then two Fs, two Gs twice, and our chorus goes D, A, G four times, and then ends with G just once, and a D. Cool. So from the top, one, two, three, four. Cool, that's it for this week. Happy strumming and I'll see you next week.